you haven't already done so, we'd like to ask if you could please put your mobile phones on silent. His Excellency Prime Minister of Aruba, His Excellency Minister of Spatial Planning, Infrastructure and Integration, His Excellency Minister of Social Affairs, Youth Policy and Labor, His Excellency Minister of Economic Affairs, Communication, Energy and Environment, His Excellency Minister of Finance, Distinguished Guests, Invited Guests, Members of the Press, Ladies and Gentlemen, Good Afternoon, Bon Tardi y Bon Vini to the official introduction of Renovación Aruba and Bay. My name is Michelle Brooks, and it is an honor to be your host for this evening's event to introduce the concept of Scott Pescal, a public-private partnership model in Aruba. Today, we are pleased to host you in this beautifully restored monument, Rietveld Academy of Fine Arts and Design. The Academy is the first and only art academy in the Caribbean. Since 2011, the well-renowned Herit Rietveld Academy from Amsterdam established itself on Aruba, offering a preparatory course as an introduction program of the Bachelor of Fine Arts and Design at the Rietveld Academy Amsterdam. The Academy proudly teaches and prepares talented young international students to function independently and to be an inspiration in the field of fine arts and design. So we are very, very thrilled that you have joined us this afternoon at this location. An author by the name of Kofi Annan wrote, a quote, in an age where community involvement and partnerships with civil society are increasingly being recognized as indispensable, there is clearly a growing potential for cooperative development and renewal worldwide. For this reason, we have come together this afternoon. It is not often that a country can boast of the many positive and beautiful structural changes made in one government term. However, our next speaker has made it possible for Aruba to do just that. Please help me, ladies and gentlemen, in welcoming to the stage Aruba's Minister of Spatial Planning, Infrastructure and Integration, Mr. Oslin Benny Sieger. All present here today, is, um, we invite you to be part of the presentation of Mr. Engelkamp, Egerkamp, um, to tell us about the renovation and Amsterdam Herstel, uh, Amsterdam Stats Herstel, how they did it in the Netherlands, and to um, get you enthusiastic to be part of our renovation Aruba, uh, to do the same for our island. In, um, when we was in the opposition years, Prime Minister Eman was the leader of the opposition that time. Um, we have made some plans and we create some vision about where we want to see Aruba uh, in 10 years, in 15 years um, from now, from them. Uh, there was 90, there was uh, 2001, 2002. And we have seen that Aruba have a very um, broad tourist industry. A lot of hotels, a lot of um, malls in front of the hotels, and we have seen that we have five stars infrastructure uh, at the hotels, but we have seen that the rest of the island didn't keep that pace. We don't have five-star schools, five-star elderly homes, we don't have five-star downtown as Orionstadt, as San Nicolas. So we make plans that if we get in government, we will change the policy in creating more hotels in that area and then start focusing on renovating our island. So downtown Orionstadt and downtown San Nicolas was priority, still priority. Our neighborhoods are priority, uh, our hospital, our schools, elderly homes. So we sit the first day in government, we sit and we thought, okay, well, how are we going to do this? How are we going to create a master plan for Aruba? So we call our professionals on the island, uh, our architects, we call our departments, government departments, and we call some professional from abroad. American Plan Association, we call architects from the Netherlands, we call some architects from uh, Spain, and 
and together we sit with uh, the people of Aruba and we discuss how we want to see Aruba infrastructure in the coming 10 years um, for the island as we live here. We want a better island, but also for the tourism industry. And with that, we create some master plan that we are implementing. I remember the first day we sit with a construction company in Aruba, Albo, Bahama, all of them. And we were talking about what we are going to do in the four years that we has been elected for. And we were talking about renovating the main street, renovating the schools, creating new neighborhoods. And they were just looking at us and say, you were talking about plans. And everybody talk about plans when they get in government, but they don't have the money to do it and they don't do it. So now after four years, if you talk to the construction world, they are pleased that they has been part of this development. If you see the main streets right now, main streets are 99% finished. Today we discussed about the 1% less for the main street. Um, we are talking about the rest of the downtown, so all the horizontal connections, the Wilhelmina Street, that's this street in front of us, uh, Scalpstraat, the harbor area, how are we going to do that? So we are actually implementing those plans. So people of Aruba are seeing, actually it's not only plans, but we are implementing those plans. And that's important for you today to know that you are invited here for a presentation about how we can um, bring this development further. How can we bring this vision further? Government has done his part in downtown, particular Orionstadt, but now the private sector has to come on board. A lot of people in, in the main street already are renovating their building, they're painting, they're changing, uh, but we need more. There are some areas that still need improvement from private sector. And what we intend to do is to create a body, NV, Stadsastel Renovation Aruba, NV, that people, private sector can participate, that we can buy buildings that we see, this is a building whose our interest, this is an area that we want to improve, start buying those buildings, renovate them, sell them, or rent them, and, but create more mobility in downtown. People can come back, live downtown, bring more students uh, to connect with this academy, with the university, with all schools around, bring more service of the government downtown, so we'll create a more vibrant um, city uh, for us, for all, and for our guests. Um, this is important for the next level um, for the coming four years. Government will keep uh, renovating, will keep um, investing in the infrastructure in downtown Rheinstadt, also San Nicolas and the neighborhood, but we need the private sector on board. So today is an important day to listen how the Netherlands did this, how they are doing it. Uh, if you've seen around the world, uh, all big cities have, big countries have the same problem. New York, Boston, Massachusetts, all of them, their downtown Miami uh, was in the same um, deteriorating uh, as our downtown was uh, a few years ago. And they all start um, renovating, bringing people back, live in downtown, invest in downtown, and that create a new uh, downtown, a new development for uh, their uh, country and for Aruba also. So, Prime Minister, um, this is a vision um, that uh, we have seen um, 10 years ago. Um, we went to the Netherlands, we discussed about how the Netherlands do this, we went to Curaçao, we have seen it in Pennsylvania, we have seen it in New York, so today is an important day for Aruba um, for to make the next step uh, in this development. Um, and we are glad that you all here is present tonight and that we can make some commitment uh, at the end of the night and to invest in this vision. Uh, and I think about over four years, we can stand here and say, we have did it and we make the next step and then we have create a better Aruba for the next generation and for the tourists who is visiting us. So. No furthermore, thank you for being here. At the end of the evening, uh, we will discuss about who, who will participate and how you're going to participate 
to make this vision, our vision, the vision for Aruba, the vision for our children, the vision uh, for the next generation. Thank you very much and enjoy the night. Thank you very much, Minister Seifinger.